Welcome to hornsupremacy.com and our holding the horn video. For our purposes, we're going to talk about seated horn position for uh, school bands and orchestras. So first we're going to talk about the spine. So first I want you to arch your spine backwards. Ugh, it should feel really uncomfortable. Now stretch it forwards. Ugh, you might think that this is more comfortable than sitting well, but it's going to really restrict what your lungs are able to do. So we want you to sit with what's called a neutral spine, where you're not forward, you're not backwards, just nice and in the center, nice and comfortable, sitting well. Then we're going to talk about left hand. Take your left hand and shake it out. Make sure it's nice and shaken and relaxed, and then just bring it up to where the valves are. We don't want it to be tense. We don't want it to be anything that's going to get in the way of beautiful sound. So we just want it nice and relaxed. You don't have to do anything weird with your elbow. Just wherever it sits comfortably, kind of down and at an angle when you're holding the horn is absolutely perfect. Just make sure that left hand is relaxed um, and that it's sitting on the appropriate valves like we talked about in our parts of the horn video. Then the most important thing you need to remember when playing the horn is your right hand position. This is pretty tricky and different than every other instrument. So here's what you're gonna do. Take your hand, um, instead of having it parallel to the ground, have it perpendicular, nice and horizontal. Then give it just a slight curve like this and make sure that all of your fingers, there's no space between them at all. You, couldn't, you shouldn't be able to see any daylight. And that includes your thumb. Make sure all of them are right next to each other. Then take that hand position and you're gonna put that right inside the bell right here. Just like this, obviously, but off to the side. So you want the back of your hand right here and the top of your thumb. This is the only part of your hand that should be touching the horn at all. The tips of your fingers and this part of your hand, the front part, that should not touch the horn whatsoever. So nice little curve and make sure that it's inside the horn. When it's shaped like this with the slight cup, it should be really easy to move it in and out of the horn as you need it to adjust pitch. It should be easy to close and open however you need. That's gonna give you the best sound and the most flexibility um, for all the different kinds of things that we need. Now finally, I wanna talk about where the mouthpiece and the lead pipe are going to hit. So first I'm gonna make sure oh, I'm a nice, comfortable, neutral spine. I'm gonna shake out my left hand, bring it up, and I'm going to have perfect right hand position. Then make sure the mouthpiece and the lead pipe are angled down. You don't want them coming straight out. That's gonna give you bad tension in your left hand. It's gonna make your right hand much more awkward and it's not gonna give you the correct embouchure. Remember in our first sounds video that you want the mouthpiece to be two thirds top lip and one third bottom lip. So make sure when you're bringing it up, we want that angle down like this. So, just to review, ways to hold the horn, neutral spine, left hand relaxed, right hand slightly curved and only here touching the bell with no space between your fingers, and then you want the mouthpiece and the lead pipe to be angled down slightly. So that is your holding the horn video. If you want to see uh, how to make your very first sounds on your horn, go to our first sounds. If you want to check your pitches, you can go to our pitch matcher. And for additional work on your embouchure to make great sound, you can go to our lip slur exercise. All of this can be found at hornsupremacy.com.